and welcome to The Indie Guy. I'm The Indie Guy, Jonathan Moody, and um, well, we had some technical difficulties earlier, and you wouldn't know because this is the first video I'm posting of it. So I was trying this earlier, and my uh, computer kept just, like the uh, program just kept shutting down. So um, I restarted the computer. Uh, and everything seems to be fine. It seems to be working uh, much better, and so hopefully it'll continue to do that. Um, but anyway, on to the show. Uh, this is my daily pickup, and uh, I went to my first flea market today. I've never been to, I don't think I've ever been to a flea market, and if I had, I don't really remember it. So, um, you know, maybe I did as a kid or something with my parents. But I don't really remember going to one, especially not by myself. So um, my sister let me know that a friend of hers um, basically was, was running a, a, a flea market and selling 300 DVDs. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll definitely check it out. I had like, you know, some money saved up to, to be able to go and, and uh, splurge if I wanted to. I picked up 10 DVDs. Um, she gave me a really good rate and uh, picked up, a, you know, because she was a friend of my sister, so she's pretty much family. Um, her name's Krista. She's awesome. Really, thank you so much. Uh, her selection was great. I mean, I, if I could have picked more than I did, I, I wanted to pick more than 10, but I was just, I'm, I've got to be careful on my money. So I, I just pretty much uh, just picked, you know, what I could with the, with the money I had. And so, um, but I got uh, a whole load of movies, um, basically. So I'm going to go through those, but I'm also going to, before then, so then after that, I went to uh, the ReStore, and I got uh, basically, was it, 10 VHSs and five, uh, uh, was it, uh, books. Then I also went to, um, was it, um, and then I went to uh, the library, and I picked up two DVDs and, uh, was it, four VHSs. So I have, what is it, uh, 14 VHSs and one Blu-ray. One Blu-ray was in the DVDs, and she let me have that for the same price. So that was pretty awesome. Um, but uh, if you're ever at the Norwich uh, Flea Market or whatever, go look up at Krista's table. She said she won't be there for a couple weeks, so in a couple weeks, go check it out. Uh, pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, so uh, I, I got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to show you these things in a second. Let me, okay, so let me show you the books first because there's not as many books as there are DVDs and or uh, and Blu-rays and or uh, VHSs. So, um all right, um, so I usually try to find ones that are either books that I used to have as a kid that I don't have anymore, or ones that are like movie related or scary or, you know, all that kind of stuff. They didn't have R.L. Stein, but uh, all these were like 10 cents a piece, so it ended up being like 50 cents, and with everything it was like a dollar 60 something total, so that's pretty cool. Um, so first off, uh, we got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I think I have this somewhere, but I don't re I don't know where it is, so I'm just, I grabbed it just in case. Um, then I've got a book called Fright Time, which has three stories uh, to it. You can see that. Um, basically, The White Phantom, Nightmare Neighbors, and Camp Fear. Sounds kind of fun. I always love those kind of R.L. Stein-ish kind of uh, scary story books. Um, Always Looking Up, The Adventures of an Incurable Optimist by Michael J. Fox. Uh, so it's his, like, biography or autobiography or whatever. And uh, I've been wanting to read this for a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Also, Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn, you know, classic. Have to get classic literature. And then, uh, before I told you I had, like, The Dark is Rising, now I have Silver on the Tree. So I have the second and last uh so i need the first of the dark is rising series over sander still then i need all the other ones like green witch and uh i forgot what the other one's called the other three so um once i get those i'll have all five and i'll have the whole collection so that's what i'm looking forward to all right so here we go um this is the i'm gonna go uh, let's see which one i'm gonna do the the, the VHSs first, because there's not that many good VHSs. I want to save the best for last. So, 
you still have good VHSs. Um, you, so right now, as, as you guys, if you guys have been following me and watching my videos, you know that uh, the ReStore has been having their uh, 10 cents, uh, 10 for 10, you know, kind of deal. So 10 for a dollar uh, deal. And um, the lady at the cash register was a little weird about it. So I got 12. So I thought, oh, that would just be 10 cents a piece, and it'll be a hundred, a dollar twenty plus the fifty cents, and it'll be a dollar seventy or something, right? No, nope. it was she. Uh, she said the VHSs were like a tenth for a dollar, and anything after that was fifty cents each, unless you get ten. I don't know if that was necessarily true or not, because she let me have fifty, uh, like five books for. 50 cents. I don't know. It was weird. Um, I think she was a little wrong. But anyway, I ended up putting two of them back, which is fine. I'll, I'll get them on another time if I want, if I can or not. Um, but I got Veggie Tales, a very uh, silly sing along. Now, you also know I got a bunch of Veggie Tale books or v uh, VHSs earlier, and now I've got. Um, uh, I've got that last one, so I didn't see that in the, the you know. In the, when I was getting all the other Veggie Tales, so uh, Titan A.E. Classic. I need that on DVD at some point, or Blu-ray. Blu-ray is probably better. Saul, which I have on DVD, but you know, I I collect a lot of these because of the um, the trailers and stuff. Um, I, I I don't know what would be out around this time, but especially for Lionsgate. But it, it's always fun to see the trailers because some of the trailers are just either really bad movies that just look like fun, or they're really good movies that I've never heard of that, or movies that I have heard of that I haven't seen. So, um, it's always just fun to kind of check that out. So, so Arabian Night starring Millie Avital and Jason Scott Lee. I got it for Jason Scott Lee. I thought that was pretty cool. Anybody else? Never heard of any. Rufus Sewell. I heard of that name. So, well, you know, I've never seen this, but it's the Aladdin story, I believe. Um, the Prince of Thieves, if I'm correct. Um, but anyway, sounds like fun. All right, Music from the Heart. Wes Craven's only, like, real drama that he did uh, when he was trying to get away from doing uh, horror. He did this movie. And uh, so when was it made? 95? 99. So it was like right after Scream and like right before Scream 3 he was trying to trying to get away from horror and he, uh, not get away from it, but do something different. A lot of these horror film directors like to shake it up a little bit if they can. But then they always go back to horror. Like Sam Raimi did that for a little bit. He did different stuff and he was great. And then uh, he ended up doing going back to horror of course. Then there's Seven Brides and Seven Brothers. Four, or Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, sorry. I know you guys heard me say that for a second. You were like trying to correct me in your head. Uh, the Rookie, the Disney's movie. She's All That, classic, classic 90s movie. I love this movie. Um, man, I, I wish like Rachel Lee, Scott, uh, Rachel Lee Cook was in more stuff these days. That I know of. Like, I know she's still acting. It's not like she's gone. But, look, I don't really watch a lot of the stuff that she does. So, it'd be great to see her do something like this again. Not she's all that, too. But, like, something in that kind of vein of, like, a, a comedy. You know, romantic comedy. I guess, it. you know, movies kind of go through those spurts. Where they have those kind of things. And then they go and do something else. So, I guess that was, the, she just, that was at the right time and right place. American Pie, another classic, 90s, or well, late, late 90s, 99, and Mouse Hunt for, these are all from the ReStore, and let me show you what I got from the, um, uh, from the library. Now, I was surprised to see that they had more stuff, because the last time I saw their, their, their selection was really few, and, uh, so I got what I could. Spent like three dollars on all this. Um, the best of Abbott and Costello live, so that's pretty cool. I'd love to see some of the Abbott and Costello live stuff they do. Um, 
That'd be neat. Space Jam, because who doesn't love Looney Tunes and Michael Jordan together? You know. I, mean, I haven't seen this movie for a long time, and I'm really interested in checking it out again. Then, uh, Lion in Winter, starring Peter O'Toole and Katherine Hepburn. Never heard, I, I think I've heard of this, but I've never seen it. And, uh, The Lion in Winter. It was the winner of three Academy Awards, including Best Actress. So that's pretty cool. Um, King Henry and Queen Eleanor. That's, mm, interesting. I'll definitely uh, be interested in checking that out. And this was amazing. Okay, this is the find of the day at the library. Like this, if anything, if I was able to just get this, I, I, I would have been happy. Sid Caesar Collection. Three VHSs. Check out the price. 25 cents. Just for three books. Or for, for three, uh, not books. Um, VHS. And it's got all three. It's got classic comedy from your show shows and Caesar's Hour. So how much? Uh, 75 minutes each, I believe. So 75 minutes, 65 minutes, and 75 minutes. So one of them is only 65, so 10 less. But oh my goodness, I am uh, complete digital restoration and inside the writer's room. So cool. The magic of live TV and creating comedy. Okay, cool. So it's got different stuff in it. So I'm, oh man, I, uh, I saw some of this stuff, like the, your show shows, I believe. Mel Brooks was, uh, <clears throat> Mel Brooks was a part of it. And he worked with Sid Caesar. I watched this, um, basically this, uh, documentary on Rob, uh, Mel Brooks. And it was amazing. The stuff that they talked about in that, it was just, oh, so, so awesome. All right. Now down to the meats and potatoes of this whole thing. The, was it, uh, 14 movies, I, or, you know, maybe 15, 16, something like that, movies that I got today. Um, and I only picked up 10 and then two other ones. And so basically a couple of them had a couple of movies on them already. So uh, let's start with the Blu-ray. Interview with a Vampire, which I've been wanting on Blu-ray for a while. And um, I definitely want to watch that. Um, so that's the only Blu-ray I got, but I'm very happy because I saw that at, uh, at the DAV once, and I was going to get it, and I decided not to, and I came back the next day and it was gone. So that goes to show if you're hunting for movies, you're looking around, make sure you grab it when you get when you get there, because otherwise, if if you don't, it could be gone, you know, if, especially if it's a good movie like that. But I'm very happy that it was gone because it was actually more expensive than um, that, and uh, so it's okay. I ended up getting it for less money later. So sometimes it's okay to pass on things, I guess, too. That's I guess that's the uh, moral of the story. All right. Then Audrey Hepburn, triple feature. Um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Roman Holiday, and uh, Sabrina. So I'm really excited about this. I have Sabrina on um, VHS, but I don't have him on uh, DVD, so... Excited for that. And I've got the remake of Sabrina with um, uh, Harrison Ford on uh, on uh, DVD. So it's nice to have both of them on DVD. All right. Next, Beavis and Butthead, uh, the Mike Judge Collection. Um, so it's got three uh, DVDs, um, which are kind of like the best of Beavis and Butthead. Um then there's Beyond the Sea, uh, which I've seen recently and loved. That's great. Boys in the Hood. Uh, this is like a special edition, two-disc anniversary edition, so that's pretty sweet. Then Halloween Collection. Um, the disc doesn't look like that. The cover doesn't look great, but the uh, I don't care. I'm, I'm interested in what, what they have. They have Halloween H2O, which is great. Halloween Resurrection, which sucked. And Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers, which is okay. But 
you know, since I want to collect all the Halloween movies eventually, I think this is, you know, this is perfect for me. See, check that out. See how kind of eh, great here is. Eh. That's so great. All right. Uh, a movie I've never heard of, but I had to get it because they're Renee Zellweger and Harry, Harry Connick Jr. It's called New in Town. Sounds eh, kind of like every other comedy, uh, but I, I got it mainly also because it's got casting crew commentary. So I wonder if Renee Zellweger does commentary. I know she did one for Jerry Maguire once, so I wonder if she's done any for the um, for the Bridget Jones movies or not. But, you know, that movie is kind of cute. kind of looks like, um, you know, any of those. I'm new in town. I meet, you know, I have my expectations of what's going to happen. Then they get changed when I start falling in love with the town. And, you know, it's it's been done before, but, you know, Renee Zellweger is in it. So... Maybe it'll be good. The Omen, which I own the remake to, but do not own the original. And I've seen um, uh, I've seen it recently for the first time and love it. Um, in fact, I'm going to have a video about Rosemary's Baby versus The Omen. Because I just watched Rosemary's Baby for the first time and I watched Roman, The Omen for the first time recently. So I'm going to do that, kind of a review of both movies and tell you which one I kind of liked better. Which they're both kind of similar in the same sense of like, they're both kind of Satan's kid, you know, kind of thing. So I'm just kind of interested in um, doing something about that. Alright, uh, Ro uh, was it uh, Robin Hood uh, Special Edition, Director's Cut. Um, kind of disappointed it doesn't have commentary. I don't think it does. What I'm disappointed about that is, uh, uh, Ridley Scott is known, and I believe he's the director. Uh, yeah, Ridley Scott is known for doing commentary. Uh, he's done it for, like, Alien and, and a bunch of other movies. So, it's kind of bummed when I didn't see it, but... It's got uh, both cuts, the theatrical and the director's cut on it. So that's pretty neat. Um, let's see. Uh, last from uh, from the flea market is a double feature of Varsity Blues and Major League, which I, I don't have both of them. And what I was really excited about, because I was almost tempted not to get it because it's a double feature and, and everything, and I thought it would be like bare bones, but nope, it's got special features on both. And on top of that, beauty is, it's got both the discs, so it's not like double-sided, which if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I'm not a big fan of double-sided uh, discs, mainly because they get scratched. That was the problem I had with the Halloween movies. Is uh, who put this out? Echo Bridge. Oh my God, I Echo Bridge's quality is usually pretty bad. Oh my God, I didn't know Joseph Gordon. I forgot Joseph Gordon Levitt was in Eight Halloween H2O. I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. I always remember Josh Hartnett and Michelle Williams and LL Cool J, but and Jamie Lee Curtis, of course. Um, but anyway, uh, see how that's you know double-sided discs and stuff just. They get scratched really easily. I'm just not a real big fan of them. All right. Well, that is it of those. So um, next is the last uh, bit is the um, uh, DVDs from the library. Now, I got two of them that one I never heard of, but looks okay. Um, looks kind of fun. Uh and that is the king. Well, the kingdom I have heard of. Um, don't know much about it. Uh, there's some commentary with Peter Berg, and Peter Berg is like the guy who did like Battleship, and um, he did a bunch of movies. Um, uh, I mean, a bunch of new movies too. Like he's still going out there making stuff. So I've been, you know, interested in kind of seeing this stuff. Um, Jamie Fox and. Chris Cooper, Jennifer Garner. Um, you know, I was thinking in the car today earlier that Jennifer Garner, like, she's one of those actresses that, like, she's been in a lot of movies, but she's never been in a movie that, like, has stood out. You know what I mean? Like, you look at the movies that she's done, like Catch and Release, 13 Going on 30, um, this movie, 
tons of different things. She's never stood out in, 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 in the movies. Like, she's never done a movie like Sweet Home Alabama, you know, um, with Reese Witherspoon. Or Bridget Jones's Diary uh, with Renee Zellweger. Like, she's one of those, Ash uh, Jennifer Lopez has done a ton of uh, movies that has stuck out, like The Wedding Planner. Maybe she needs to do a movie with, like, Matthew McConaughey or something, you know? Like, I think, like, a comedy like that. Because, like, she's been in so many movies that just, I don't know. If you think that there's a movie that Jennifer Garner has stuck out in, uh, much, much more than the stuff, the crap that I was talking about, go right ahead and tell me, because I have, I don't think so. Uh, I think she's kind of just been this blah actress that uh, she's just in these movies. She's in, I mean, big movies. Uh, but she's just not, you know, she hasn't really stuck out to me. Oh, maybe Electra. She was Electra, I believe. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe, and not really, because that movie kind of tanked. I, I don't think it did as well as, like, you know, I could be wrong. But anyway, that's that's my opinion. If I'm wrong, definitely, uh, you know, comment. Leave a comment. Let me know. Um, I'm okay with people judging me like that and saying I'm wrong. Um, so here is, what is that? Behind the scenes feature. That's nice. Well, that's okay. So a movie called Crimson Rivers, Angels of the Apocalypse. Now, I've never heard of this movie, but Jean Reno, who... He's in The Professional. I love him in The Professional. Um, he's in this movie. I've never heard of the director, Adam, Adam Goldman. Alan Goldman. Is that Alan? I am so wrong. It's like Elin. Elin Goldman. I can't read it. Don't have enough light, I guess. Um, Elin Goldman. I've never heard of that uh, director. Uh, I've never even heard of this movie until I saw it at the at the uh, at the library. I was like, what is this? But I was like, it's got Jean Reno and Christopher Lee. Um, so it might be good. Um, it looks kind of okay. So I don't know. It's got kind of behind the scenes featurettes, like five of, five of them making a feature at the lead scene. So I don't know. I'll definitely check it out. Tell you guys what I think sometime. Um, sometime. It'll, it'll be in my collection, and one day uh, I'll probably be like, I'm bored, let me check out a new movie, and then, you know, go through all my stuff and say, oh, I've never seen this movie. Let me put it in there, and then I'll review it for my show. That's what I'm planning to do. All right, well, that's that's it for today. Uh, that's the daily pickup for today. Pretty much just a bunch of VHSs, some books, uh, you know, a bunch of DVDs, one Blu-ray, um, one, you know, the one Blu-ray I'm really excited about, like, I don't know, like, out of all the DVDs and VH, uh, and Blu-ray, um, that I got, I don't know, like, I, I, I enjoyed a lot of these things, like, I was, I was definitely going through them, trying to find the best of the best, so, um, you know, I might pick, you know, I, I'll go back in a couple weeks or something, um, and check it out and see if, um, because it, it happens every Saturday now. And so I may go back up on Saturday, see if there's anybody else selling DVDs or anything, and see what I can uh, see what I can get. Uh, but most likely, I'll just wait till she comes back and, and get more stuff from her. Uh, she said she has more stuff, and I was looking for uh, Open Water too. That's my uh, I might end up getting it because I think it comes like Walmart every now and then or something. So if I see that at like Walmart, I'll definitely pick it up. But that's uh, pretty much it for the uh, show today. Um, tomorrow, I gotta just start getting some more reviews for you guys. So I'm, I'm definitely planning to do that Rosemary's Baby plus slash um, versus uh, the Omen uh, review. Uh, I wanted to do like the Omen series and talk about it, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Rosemary's Baby versus the Omen, and then I'm gonna go into the sequels. And everything. And I'm going to talk about them and their own uh, things. So I need to watch three and four. So I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I still have uh, The Omen 3 on DVD here and um, rented from the library. Uh, and then you watch like Jennifer's Body that I rented from the library. So I'm 
kind of busy with that stuff, but I'm excited. I uh, I was happy to watch Rosemary's Baby today. Um, tell you guys what my my real thoughts, you know, on it. Uh, I'll tell you guys right now. I did enjoy it. It was a good movie. Um, you know, but I can see why I'd never watched it until now, honestly. And I'll, I'll tell you straight up, it's because it is a slow movie, you know, and my attention span has been getting better, you know, with movies. Like, I've been enjoying movies, but when I was younger, I really, really, really hated slow movies. Uh, if a movie did not, um, and my friends can attest to this because for the longest time, if a movie did not, um, you know, uh, get going in the first, like, 10, 20 minutes, I'm out. You know, I'm bored, I'm done, I want to watch something else. Uh, that will keep my attention. So that's how I am, and I'm still like that. Well, I'm not like that. I'm a little, I'm a lot better, actually. I like, uh, I like movies that are a little slow, um, as long as the, you know, the characters are there, and the movie is interesting enough. Um, and that's what Rosemary's Baby was. It was a very interesting movie. Uh, the characters, you know, really got you, got you going, so. All right, well, thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, check me out on Twitter and Instagram. See ya. Bye.